Hello and welcome back. I'm Patrick from Munich AI. Uh, welcome. And um, I do a really short video today about um, shorting, shorting on CryptoHopper. Um, some people like it, some people don't. Um, I have tested now a bit, several of times. Um, I just want to show you um, with our templates and strategies how you can include it in the uh, templates, actually the settings of a template. So um, I'm going to explain how you can include it in the set and forget. Uh, if you haven't seen the video from set and forget and you don't know what it is, then check the video out uh, on my channel on YouTube. So it expla explains. So it's generally uh, or basically it's a strategy or a template we just rebuying all the time the same amount when the Bitcoin or the coin drops and the strategy sends a signal. We just rebuying always. We rebuying, buying, buying, make a profit. Now when it's going down, rebuying, 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 um, putting more amount in the trade up to 10 times and lower the minus percentage. So this is basically the last uh, template we are using um, or we created. And on this template, I want to show you today to implement shorting. So uh, the shorting, uh, we will put it in the triggers. Mm, you can test it for yourself. I don't give you any financial advice or that it's working properly. For the last time when the Bitcoin drops, it worked quite good for me. So that was on these candles here this time, 24 February uh, and here as well. And now uh, I have a several trades uh, currently on my paper trader. I can show you. Um, this is a set and forget strategy. So as you can see, buying is disabled because of a short protection, a crash protection. So, and we are doing auto shorting. So the shorting started already um, around this candle, uh, because you can see this is a long candle and it has minus 2.1 and in the triggers in the crash protection trigger i showed you uh, which is comes with our templates um, this basically what it does is it's called crash protection trigger enabled it's looking on the binance market on bitcoin so it's always looking on bitcoin uh, because bitcoin is a dominating uh, currency on the four hour candles so this is presents four hour, uh, one candle is four hours. And what it does, percentage change. So if the Bitcoin, uh, if and then, if the Bitcoin is dropping minus 2.1 percentage, like in here, uh, buying will be disabled. Because mostly this is an indicator, then it drops even harder. So as we see here, it starts like a, um, a drop drop we're starting here it's not pretty sure but once we see a big candle like this for the crash protection trigger minus 2.1 we want to have short um, buying disabled huh? so and if you can see on um, my hopper buying is still disabled because um, when on the other trigger when will it be enabled again it's like if we see 1.2 percentage for recovering but we haven't seen that much of this. Uh, here was a bit, but then there came a new candle. So maybe it was shortly enabled, but not. But then it dropped even harder and more down. <clears throat> so this was basically the triggers. Uh, I explained already in another videos before. You can also check um, in my history on YouTube. And what I implemented um, for the shorting, I had four open positions. As you can see now, uh, this is the shorting, short positions and we went out quite fast and stepped to the shorts like somewhere here and then it dropped hard and now we are really good in profit huh? we recovered with shorting the losses so this we made from the shorting and this is like the actual um, percentage we've made including the shorting uh, otherwise we would have here a big minus a really really big minus from the normal trades but we shorted, so it went down and we step into short automatically. So what I did on the triggers, uh, when we have like the crash protection buying disabled, so buying will be disabled, that means Bitcoin dropped minus 2.1. And what we have done is here, 
set buying status disabled yeah this is normal huh? and then we do open a short hmm? this is really easy so open a short and then if you're using the set and forget uh, you check your coins because on set and forget we have standard 10 coins here and uh, 15 open positions i explained also in the other video so and then you easily one two three four five six seven eight nine okay one is missing one is missing that's actually the coin one <laughs> because i removed it so and i put another one in i think it's is let me check uh i don't know doesn't matter now right now but you basically include all the coins you have in the selected coin list you put it here and once the bitcoin is dropping on minus 2.1 you put here buying disabled uh, setting status of uh, set buying status disabled and open a short and put here all the coins you have in your selected coin list and that what's happening when it's dropping minus 2.1 it opens a short from these positions so all the coins you have opened on a trade will be moved to um, shorting of course then you say yeah it can happen that bitcoin drops minus 2.1 and then goes up again or minus 2.2 and then goes up yeah this is the risk you take with this yeah but um, as soon as we recover so enable uh, then we say close the short so everything is uh, like this is buying enabled now from the crash protection um, once it's greater or equal to 1.2 when we recover 1.2 percentage on a four hour btc usdt candle size we set the buying status enabled and close the short so once we find maybe a base uh, the ground from the current drop we want to set buying enabled as well close the short uh, so and this for me uh, didn't happen yet uh, i'm still in the shorts so we still make a profit by going down more uh, and as soon as we see like the 1.2 recovering uh, from the bitcoin when it's going up a bit then we step out of the trigger uh, out of the shorting and buy it back let's say buy it back and close the short uh, and then you save it and this easily triggers you can implement in every template or everywhere where you want to have it huh? so all the open position i would recommend you not having too many selected coins um, but you can implement this everywhere on every hopper you have on every uh, template you have and uh, uh, on my templates like uh, on the set and forget bullish huh? you will have the crash protection trigger already included but the shorting standard, I did not uh, include it because everybody should decide if it's worth it and test it first. Uh. So for me, the first times it runs quite well. So it protects you once there's like a bigger crash for more percentage. Uh. So you can recover your losses a bit and then uh, make a bit profit even if it's going down. So and once it recovers again, um, you will uh, buy it back and close the short and it will be go back automatically in open positions so yeah um i recommend you just try it out and give it a try i mean as we see bitcoin is currently uh, going really really up down up down and you can just yeah maybe take advantage of this once of course when it's going up we want to buy here and buy and sell high a selling um here of course and then um, when it's going down we can try even to make more or also make some profits huh? so yeah basically uh, that's it huh? if you choose our strategies we will be of course really happy or even our signals which also working uh, quite good uh, signals already have uh, 110 subscribers and of course daily they're growing and uh, more and more people also come to our discord and uh, we exchange new experience and everything so yeah just uh, join our community join the discord and if you have any further questions uh, come to our discord and ask of course um, i'm trying as much as help everyone um, trying to set up or finding mistakes of course from day to day from users or if something is not working 
Um, but please excuse myself if I sometimes <laughs> not can't respond directly. I try to respond as fast as possible, uh, but uh, you know I also have a um, yeah other life between. So <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, just join our Discord, join our group. Mm, we'll be happy to see you there. And uh, please also, once you test the shorting with the triggers, just let me know how it works for you. And if you need help by that, just let me know. Huh? And have a nice evening. Bye bye.